Born and raised in Waco, Joanne Berry was Texas long before anyone knew about Chip and Joanna Gaines. <laughs> and it was in Waco where she began her music career as a DJ for KHOO radio station. She later joined the Jim Halsey Company on the recommendation of Hank Thompson, a family friend, making her one of the few female agents in the business. She booked dates on Red Steagall and a little redhead named Reba McIntyre, as well as being involved with the careers of the Oak Ridge Boys, Tammy Wynette, Roy Clark, Jimmy Dean, Minnie Pearl, and Don Williams. She managed Don Williams for a brief time before receiving a call from the Dick Blake Agency in Nashville to come to work for his agency. With the encouragement of her close friend, Minnie Pearl, Joanne accepted the job and made her move to Nashville. At the Blake Agency, she was involved with the careers of Ronnie Millsap, Statler Brothers, Merle Haggard, Brenda Who, <laughs> Steve Warner, and became the responsible agent for Barbara Louise and Erlene Bandrell. Barbara and Joanne partnered and opened world-class talent, a booking agency representing Ricky Skaggs, Randy Travis, Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell sisters and others. While she was with World Class Talent Agency, she also produced shows with Tony Bennett, Gladys Knight, Aretha Franklin, and managed such acts as Lori Morgan, a question mark there, <laughs> Lynn Anderson, Don Williams and the Gatlin Brothers, another question mark. <laughs> Today, Joanne is currently working with the Christian Broadcasting Network and managing and developing new artists. Joanne, we have some very special people who would like to congratulate you. Hi. We're the Oak Ridge Boys, and we congratulate our longtime friend, Joanne Burry, on oh, being inducted yeah. into the Source Hall of Fame. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage 2018 Source Hall of Fame inductee, Joanne Berry. It's such an honor, honestly, and looking out at everybody, just an honor to be here and appreciate this award. I want to... First of all, thank my Lord and Savior. I want to thank the nominating committee, uh, Judy, Harris, Pat, Roth, Kay Smith, and I'm sure there are more, but special thanks to Suzanne Lee, that's been said, but boy, she worked hard on this, so thank you so much. I can't be here without, of course, thinking of one of my dear friends that we all miss, Joe Walker Matter. She. She impacted so many lives, and uh, for sure mine. Also, um, Minnie Pearl, who was so important in my life, and I'm wearing her pearls tonight. So, yeah, so it's, you know, I was blessed to represent her and travel with her and come to Nashville when I, before I moved to Nashville. So, just, um, she meant a lot. I wanna thank Jim Halsey, he's not here, but I will say he called me this morning and I appreciated it. He said um, he just appreciated, you know, what I had done for the company and what have you. But believe you me, Jim Halsey would have been fine without me. So, <laughs> but I so appreciate him giving me the opportunity. Um, you know, he, he was such a visionary. He, he took us to Russia. He took us to Monte Carlo to play for the princes. Um, there I got the chance to manage Don Williams. He asked me to. Um, the other thing is, one of the things I was booked the fair department, so I booked Roy Clark show t at the fair in Amarillo, Texas, and you, and y'all know that's like barely Texas, but it's out there. So, Roy, Hank Thompson, and Buck Trent, what a group! I'm flying with them. We fly in to do the show, spend the night, get checked in later that night. Hank calls me and he says. Now, we don't have a radio, can you, you have to understand, no cell phones, no radios, no nothing back then, like 76, 77. We, we want to call Bill Mack, he's the all-night disc jockey on WBAP, and we don't have a radio, can you find us one? Well, I guess I failed my job, I, I couldn't find a radio. 
So I told him. So the next morning, I was awakened by a call from the front desk letting me know that they thought that one of my party had a car in the courtyard next to the pool. And I just hesitated a minute and I said, let me check. I called Hank, he said, yes, we, we drove the car in, we wanted to hear Bill Mack, we opened the door, put the radio on, and, <laughs> and, and opened our sliding glass doors. So uh, I knew then this job was gonna be exciting. <laughs> Uh, then, uh, you know, when you think just it couldn't get any better, I had the opportunity to, to partner with Barbara Mandrell and travel all over the country with her, including going to the White House, performing several times. Also, um, a highlight for me, uh, we got to spend the night at Camp David and um, where she dedicated the chapel. So that was a thrill for me, a little girl from Texas, who, who could figure. Also, we landed on an aircraft, I think, I wasn't sure because I, I, you know, I get motion sickness just in a, anything. So, but anyway, it's been a, it's been a great trip and a great career, and I'm, I'm so blessed. I want to thank my friends, uh, obviously, for being here. It means so much to me. I want to thank a couple of new artists that I'm working with, Lexi Larson and Joe Hot, for being here. We appreciate that. I want to thank my dear friends Bob and Kathy, also Jackie, um, Gary and Sissy Green from Texas, Aaron DeLong from Ohio. Eric and um, Heather, my dear friends. Uh, Becky Waller flew in from Colorado Springs. And last of all, I wanna thank my best friend, Marie, because she allowed me, she babysat my four-legged children, which all of you know if you're dog lovers, uh, for allowing me to travel all over the country and all over the world to, to be at ease and know my babies were taken care of. So um, I appreciate the time. I thank y'all so much. Blessings. Thank you.